He worked as a doctor at Bingley Hospital. My mom is 47 years old. She is a nurse. She's worked at Bingley Hospital too. My parents have two children. They are my brother and me. My brother is 19 years old. She's he's work. She's he's studying at FB University. The youngest person in my family is me. My name is May. I'm 11 years old. I'm studying at Plenty of Family School. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much, May. Ladies and gentlemen, to all my dear teacher and all my fellow students, my name is Wipu Wang and my English name is Li Wan. I'm from the IELTS class and today I will talk about the things that you use every day and every week. It's social media. First, I have to tell you that technology right now is developing drastically in each and every field. So social media is not the expectation. But it is not being, it shouldn't be regarded straightforwardly because it is robots which create debates on its own neg negative and positive effects on people. First is the, we'll talk about the positive side. First, the, the first positive is about communication. And in the last decade, people have to walk outside and waste a lot of time to communicate to each other and sometimes they use notes which also waste a lot of time because the mail sender they have to get one or two days to send the mail to the other people but right now today people can communicate virtually with apps like facebook that loves etc and can be easy with just only one click and secondly is technology now used for entertainment, such as watching movies or videos in YouTube. And you can also watch the content of each other easily with just one click or one access to a website. When in the last, in the past decades, you have to walk or maybe to download the service or somewhere to get into it. To get the entertainment. And thirdly, some companies and manufacturers they use the social media to boost and organize their products. And also, they use the social media to organize things easily. You can, like, I think that to a great technology, you can. See what's the progress of the artwork easily, like they just one click, and you not only can work online, but also can work offline easily. Because right now, working offline is even better than working online. Working online, because when you work at home, you can access some kind of tools in the computer to help your work. But in the flip side of the time, there are two main there are three main disadvantages. First, if you don't have a host schedule to spend your time properly, you're gonna get some other time in Facebook, YouTube, uh, TikTok, etc. And you don't even know you're wasting your time. And secondly, some of the possibilities they're gonna make some but we know that God has influence to kids that are going to boost their brain so kids going to easily access that and watch the, that bad videos because it is publicly in YouTube and some of them, some of the bad celebrities may be cyber bullies they're going to send children messages and bad videos to kids and this can lead to trauma but for others can also be a fact and this can also lead to suicide if they send a vegetarian message. But the most important thing is several crimes. While technology are developing, crimes can also use technology to access your bank account.
account. Go ahead and do access your chatting social media, like messages or Skype, maybe Teams. They can send a normal message for you, and you may find that it's just a normal people. You don't know, you just click in that. But you probably know that in that messages, they send a virus that gonna access your phone account and your home information. And lastly, I wanna in final speech, I wanna tell that technology is a two side point which has a huge advantage but also a big advantage. Thank you for listening. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Mawar and uh, today I will tell you guys about a part of view in how patient can affect your career. And uh, let's start that. Honestly, all of you guys here want to be successful when you grow up and always our parents, our teacher, relative, all tell us that you must be successful in life. But how? No one tell you that. And for our for our parent or grandparent generation, they are until accomplishment for life is just a stable income, a permanent job, or just a normal accommodations. But that all of that are outdated now. You cannot wait for a permanent job in a uh, in a job in a employer market which change frequently every time. So that which is the strategy for the new generation to reach success in life. And for me, is patience. You, you know, like every kid, every teenager have like, their patience, but they are shy to show it to everyone or to join it in a uh, particular way that can make money. So that here is some advice for me uh, to help you guys be successful in your patience. Firstly, if you guys don't have any relations in life, don't just looking for some successful guy like Viking or Mark Zuckerberg or something and consider that it's your patient too because that was just like imitating another guy carrier and trust me, it will ruin up yourself, it will not bring on any benefit. So to you, to which particular uh, patient in life, you should be curious to everything. Keep curiosity in everything that you see in life. Don't be shy, great to join them. Yeah? And then when you find a field that you're addicted to and cannot live without that, it's your patient. And secondly, after finding a patient to be successful in that, you must be hardworking enough. Don't allow any frivolous thing to join in your career. I know that sometimes in life you will face with terrible crisis in your career, in your work. But just on me, just be hardworking enough, keep patience, and then you can get to, you can get over it. And so that is my advice in patience. There are three main key finding your patient, be curious to be, and hardworking. And I hope that my sharing today can help you guys sometime in your life. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Kelly. I'm 15 years old. Today I will tell you about my life in Philippines. This is the first time I went to the Philippines. Philippines is a place that is suitable for children to study in this and has a nice summer camp. When I arrived here, I was very surprised because of the scenery. It is very luxurious and beautiful. Since it's my first time going to a new place without my parents, I was scared, but because of my friends, I was able to overcome it and enjoy all the time that we have in this place. In the Philippines, people are friendly and helpful. The characters in everything and the share story about the living like the cultural attraction and popular food. My meals in here are the same as this. I really like studying in her school because I'm able to learn a lot of things, especially English. I improve with all of the skills because of my teacher. My favorite teacher is teacher Marielle, who is my speaking teacher. She is very beautiful and friendly. I was impressed by her smile as this motivation for me to study every day. 
to hear me in vocabulary and read my so much. Moreover, we always share many stories in life just enough for us to understand each other. I became very disciplined when I come to time because we practice proper time management. I also met a lot of friends in here that were studying here will be very memorable. We come together, eat together, and eat everything together like a family. I want to thank my teacher and friends for all the memorable experience and quality time that we have in here. I really appreciate all of your help because of all of you I became Korean. Thank you for the Thank you. 
Filipinos teacher. That's the again. Thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So we look forward to seeing Florence the uh, participants. I
try to limit the noise level in business to 90 decibel. The effect has been opposed by nightclub restaurant and bar owner who fear that they may lose customer. This same argument was used before smoking was banned in the most public place. It turned out that many non-smokers have been staying away in the business gain a customer who had been stayed home. It may be the same if excessive noise was bad. There may be people staying home because they can't buy a quiet place to spend a night out and talk to their friends. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much. So let's move on to Everything 
life had two sides. I was I had to study a lot when I living here every day, and of course studying would never be an easy thing. That was the reason why I was so great in the first grade. Seeing this the first time I came here, the food, everything was so strange to me. The food, the education, the way they talk, the room are all new to me. I even had an allergy on the third day I came here for some unknown reason. Luckily, after one or two weeks living here, I was getting used to it and feel much better. If, I, if sometimes I feel sad or lonely, I will always have my friends be there and talk to me. <clears throat> I also have my guardians to take care of me every day. Uh, she, while I was apart from my family, she appeared just as my mother. She, uh, wake me up every day, how they work my homework, and also talk to me like a friend. But unfortunately, she had to leave after two, two weeks. <clears throat> Going to this place in this school had taught me a lot of things and given me wonderful experience. And I think that I will never have a chance to have the experience anymore. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you. 
the imagination. I go to a weird school where I don't have my phone and I can't surf the internet in a month. However, until now, I'm not even sure if it's a bad thing because staying away from the internet, I feel peaceful in my inner self. And actually, I don't need to care about what others say or what is going on outside. It's just focus on studying. The first week here in the Philippines. <laughs> in the first week here in the Philippines, I was stressed, and for the first time, I got the feelings like I'm dying. Um, I was struggling the whole week to my timetable. I need to wake up at 6:30 after doing exercise, which always takes me a lot of energy and having breakfast. I literally become a study machine, just studying all the days. Uh, just on my holidays, I was sobbing almost every night in my first week as I miss my mom, my dad, and my siblings a lot. But more than anything, I miss the relaxing and happy life in Vietnam. Uh, in my second week, <laughs> things were all the same. I had my midterm test, and what I'm saying, my surprise my parents. I quit. I only finished the listening and speaking test. reading and writing test. However, I don't regret doing it. Uh, and two days later, my manager finally found it out and she encouraged me that I can do it as long as I try my best. And suddenly, I, it reminded me of the first purpose of going to the Philippines, which is studying, learning, and experiencing, not screaming or crying. And at that point, I started my own adventure. I tried to learn everything with a positive energy, and you know what? Yesterday, I just had my final test, and this time, I didn't put it, but took it seriously. And, like, it's the end of the world if I flunk, but after finishing it, I already knew that I would get a low mark, but actually, this time, I'm proud that at least I tried my best to finish it. I want to thank my teacher, my manager, and all of the friends here who inspired me to learn English. Thank you, teacher Maurice, teacher Daniel, teacher Aiden, Colleen, and Daniel. And last but not least, thank you all my parents for taking care of me. After studying in this school, I immediately realized how important you are. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Victor. I'm 14 years old. My topic is the filling of the trip. Yeah. Alright. And first of all, I don't know. When I first come to the inside, I feel strange. I feel homesick. Yeah. I don't know. I make a lot of friends. You know, I'm talking about friends. Let's see what we have. Uh, first, we have one. He's sometimes kind of, you know, take everything too seriously, something like that. And he got no sense of humor, but overall, he still a good brother. And next, we have Lee Wong. Sometimes he cannot say, like, say something properly. And, you know, he kind of, uh, 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 uh. But he's still a good friend. He's also a good roommate. Let's keep okay, introduce. Next what do we have Um although he cut my hair not really well. Not to be okay, let's be for real. He cut my hair really really bad. But he's a good roommate, good brother, and you know he very good fighter. Sometimes he give a lot of advice and those they feel fiction. After that we have Lee Mom. He is one of us kind of my thing that he's very tall and the thing is just that he's easy to be angry and you know, sometimes he just joke that that's not fun. That's alright. He's a very sweet person. Um, let's keep switching. Next person.
just say he's still uh, He's very handsome. But, you know, sometimes he's just, I don't know, he like, he acts like he knows everything. And I don't like that, that he's handsome. Alright, let's get fishing. Uh, we have. Okay, uh, we have one guy. Not, not last, sorry. Uh, he is. I want to be honest, he's kind of toxic, but, you know, he's. I love talking with him because he's very funny, and you gotta. I don't know, I just love talking with him. He's very funny too. Last but not least. Yeah. 
hearing to your family and friends. Don't stop studying English. Uh, I, I want to thank my roommate for loving me, happy me, and ever, everything they have done to me. I am, I am very grateful to have them as my friend in this summer camp. Uh, so we always share some story. We always share some story about each other and if we don't come together every night. And also thank you all of memorable and unforgettable things will be up in this place. To my teacher, thank you for teaching me how to write, read, and speak English. Especially to his teacher RM, who is my teacher in writing. She impressed me with her friendliness and kindness. I love her so much. I learned a lot from my teacher and I, I will never forget them. I dedicate this big book. I dedicate this big to the people who inspire me why I am here. Thank you, thank you for every effort that you make me to be happy. And I, I promise that I will continue studying it. Thank you for listening. Okay. Thank you students.